Hello, my name is Shiva Kumar and thanks for watching Umoja Shots, where we deconstruct a complex solution in a simple and understandable form, taking one issue at a time. Today, we are going to discuss about work management with an approver work center. I'm going to have a demo as well for this. Let's take an example of a service center. In this case, I took Nairobi Operation Center as the service center or HR Shared Services, where this particular entity manages three entities, respectively UNON, UNEP, and UN Habitat. And a staff member from UNON can be assigned to an operation center role, which in turn entitles the staff member to have three entities being managed under one umbrella. And all HR functions, personal action, contracts, and entitlements will be managed by them. And it controls access as well as workflow, and there will not be any HR partner roles in the client entities. This might lead to a next question, how a staff member in the Nairobi Operations Center can tactically manage one specific or more than one specific or units uh, for their day-to-day -day, uh, functionality. This is leveraged by an application called Approver Work Center and managing the filter within the Approving Work Center. Following is a demo explaining how exactly you can set the filter for your day-to-day -day operation. I'm going to log on to my training system with a user ID which has the HR partner role applied to Nairobi Operating Center. A Nairobi Operating Center is a combination of three entities, UN Habitat, UNEP and UNON. If you see the top tabs reflect the roles which I have and to understand how my mapping is done in the system, the first uh, and foremost application which you should be using is user map. User map displays my approvers as well as my access. If you click on my access, the system is going to show this particular user has been assigned HR partner all for UN, UN Habitat, UNEP, and UNON because this particular user ID is applied as a HR partner to a Nairobi operating center. I'm going back to the home screen and if I have to go and find out my pending items, I go to the work center. Since I am the HR partner for all three entities, if I go to the PA pending items, I'm going to see the request originating from UNON, UNEP, and all the other components under them. If for your tactical purposes, if you are going to divide your HR partner group into three sets of user base and managing their operation by visibility, that is a way to do. All you have to do is go and click on the settings tab. When you click on the settings tab and then you go to the filter tab in the settings and then go and select in the filter tab affected employee org unit. The affected employee org unit is the org unit from which the staff member who is assigned the request is originated from. So in this case, I want to say UNON and an asterisk. It means any org unit any staff member belonging to org unit under UNON umbrella should be available for me. And I say that and I said OK. When I say OK, the system is going to show me only the UNON removing the UNEP and UN habitat. If you are going to be operating only on the UNON component, what you can do is Go to the settings and then go to the filter tab and repeat the same process of selecting the affected employee or unit. Click add and say UNON and put an asterisk. Asterisk means UNON and any other or units under UNON and say and before doing that and do a save as and here you say UNON and 
make this as an initial view and say OK. So what happens is the system not only filters the request under UNON and also creates a view called UNON for you. The beauty of this and since you have made it as an initial view, when I log off and come back with the same user ID, the system will remember your preferences, what you have set and it will bring only the items which you have selected as your filter, not collecting all the items. So the approval work center, when I go to PA work, pending work items, the system will show only UNON because the initial view which you have selected is UNON. Since you have a filter, the system not only allows you to have one filter and you can have multiple filters. With this, you are building what is called a perpetual redundancy in the sense, when I go to my PA pending work items, since we have set up UNON as my home base, the system brings only UNON and if in case, if your colleague who is managing UNAP is not in office or you need to back her up tactically, all you have to do is go down and pick up the view which is set up for UNAP and you can see only the UNAP request originating and coming to you. This is one powerful way of setting up multiple entities which is at the entity level and saving it as a filter view so that you can set one view as your default and you can select other views depending upon your tactical requirement. Thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure. For more information and questions, send me a note and keep watching this channel.